The best way to describe a sea anemone is almost like an upside down jellyfish that's stuck onto a rock. From the way it looks and from its name anemone, you might think it's actually a type of plant, but the anemone is an animal. So the anemone is made up of its main jelly body, which has lots of tentacles inside its mouth that it'll open up and then you'll see all its tentacles. Its mouth is also its bump, and so any animal that touches the tentacles will get stung and paralyzed, and then the anemone pulls it inside its body and eats it up. You'll often see clownfish swimming around our anemones, and that's because they're one of the few animals that are immune to the sting that the anemone gives off. The clownfish will take care of the anemone, they'll keep it nice and clean and free from parasites and things like that. And in return, the clownfish has a safe home to live in because none of the other animals will approach the anemone. So the main theory as to why the clownfish are immune to the anemone's stings is because they have the same mucus as the anemone coat in the bodies, and they'll often top up this mucus by rubbing the bodies against the anemone. This tricks the anemone into thinking that it's touching a part of its own body, and so it won't sting the clownfish because it thinks it's just another one of its tentacles. Anemones aren't able to like move their tentacles by decision, so what they'll do is they'll often move themselves where there's a nice strong flow of water, which means the tentacles are moving around a lot and it gives them more opportunities to catch the food. Just like a starfish, they're able to regenerate body parts, so if they're injured in any way, they will grow back anything that they lose, and sometimes if an anemone might get split into two, that might produce two anemones.